Hi, welcome to ArchitEasy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of the curved elements or walls in Revit because I often uh, hear that it's quite tricky to be modeled or so. I made it as a continuous tutorial of one of my previous one and that previous was related to, to how you can create a very simple models, how you can then render them and possibly sell them on stock. So if you miss that one, just uh, look at the card above, uh, watch it uh, because uh, my idea is just to try to show you some of the very basic uh, principles principles of how you can model something which looks complex maybe to you and how you can hopefully monetize it uh, once you create a very nice renders out of it using let's say twin motion or some other render engines for this tutorial i will be using revit 2024 so let's just move there and enjoy the process in the next couple of minutes so the first uh, element i'm going to show you is how you can model this wall which starts from here and then let's say which ends here so in Revit to be able to model this I will go to component will take model in place and I mean it doesn't matter I can take generic models so we'll use in this case the swift blend tool uh, for a path I will use some kind of the radius and I can make it to be let's say two meters and let me just take a look on a picture again yes we have let's say more than a than a half of the circle and i'm just going to adjust it i'm actually going to make a new one with uh, 1.8 meters radius let's say okay so once it's done i will just make a 3d view so i can watch it better i will go to the profile one and then we'll go edit profile so we can take the offset and let's say i will make the wall with a thickness of 100 millimeters so 50 millimeters by both sides then here and in revit just be aware that this part here cannot be zero so it has to have some kind of value and in this case because it's going to be very thin i can just use the five millimeters offset so now I will just use trim and we'll trim all of them. I'm done. And I will just click OK. We'll take the second profile, edit profile, and I will do the same here with a 50 by sides. And then I'm going to take, let's say, two meters in height. Trim it and just click finish so you see how it looks like. If you are not satisfied with this one, if you would like to lower it or height up, you can just select edit uh, speed blend and then I will select second profile, edit profile and I can, uh, I can increase this to 3 meters while for a first profile let me try to have this on a one millimeter thickness so yeah it's here and about about this one that was it uh, let me show you how you can create this uh, example it's quite similar to the previous one so again i will go to architecture and we'll pick model in place generic generic models and again i'm going to use a sweep blend uh, for a pet will let's let's make it the same 1.8 meters and okay let's go to 3d the first profile and again, the first profile is close to zero, so I'm going to make it as a, a one millimeter thickness. So the process is the same as for the previous one for the first profile.
okay then go to the second profile and now I'm going to use 50 because it's the thickness of the wall or so then I'm going to take one and a half meters I let's delete this bottom one and use trim trim this so what I made I actually made a kind of the offset I actually leveled uh, leveled the uh, up our profile and you see here it comes it's <laughs> it's actually quite simple uh, with this wall I would like to show you some different uh, modeling tool it's not going to be a strip blend uh, and let's say because I'm not sure from this picture how uh, what is the width of let's say the base of the wall is this the width or this is just the width of the profile so you see we have two different widths this is let's say A and this is B and as I said I'm not sure is this the A and B the thickness different thickness of this glass wall or not so I'm going to show you the way where you have two different thicknesses and then uh, also I'm going to show you the way where you are going to have the same wall thickness but different thickness of this profile and let's say that in the first case we are going to have two different thicknesses so I'm going to use in that case model in place and I can take again generic models it doesn't matter for this example but if it's going to be the wall in your project you can take it as a wall actually I am going to take it as a wall as well and I'm going to use a blend tool in this case and if you take a closer look you see that we have kind of radius here and then the straight part so I will make it something like this and then I'm just going to make the straight part to go one and a half meters and let me just offset the bottom part for let's say 200 and let's close the profile then go to edit top and for the end let's make it to be two and a half meters so it's here and I'm going to make it actually sorry I'm going to make it this way 75 from both sides so it ends on a middle or actually let me just take a look no it goes straight so I'm just going to sorry make it with this I'm going to pick those bottom lines I will offset this for 50 millimeters and then just trim this let's go to 3d and click fine so this this looks this looks okay when it comes to the thickness uh, at the bottom and uh, at the top but what we have now is this cut here so in this case the easiest way to make a cut will be to make a reference plane I can make it here I will name it as O1 then I'm going to create a section which looks toward that reference plane right click go to view and again go to edit place and in this case I'm just going to use a void void extrusion let's pick this O1 reference plane I just made and I will take a spline something like this I can now adjust the points a little bit yes okay and just take those blue arrows and make it like this so you see how it looked like and this is the case where you have the different thicknesses at the base and at the top but uh, let me now show you the case where you have the let's say the wall uh, with, uh, with this kind of thickness and then the different profile on it 
So I'm I'm just going to extend this reference plane. It's going to be quite useful for me, as well as the section. And I'm going to go to the wall and I'm going to create a new wall. So we'll let's make the one of okay. I have no 50 millimeters. I can just go duplicate this one and make it 50 millimeters. And what I'm going to do will be, I can just take this interior and I'm going to make it like this. Then we'll just, just take move and we'll move it somewhere here. Lower it to, let's say, three meters or two and a half, like this left one was. Okay, then uh, from the section, I'm going to select this a right wall, this straight wall, and then I'm going to go to the edit profile. And then I'm going to create similar shape as I did to the wall on the left side. Or I mean, you can anytime select this and then simply take it, actually move it from here to here. And then just use, you cannot use trim with the splines, but you can use uh, you can select this point and you can simply drag it to the end, then just delete this one and click. Okay, so here it comes. What we are missing uh, right now is this profile, which is wider at the bottom and narrower at the top, and I'm going to create it. So uh, again, I'm going to go to model in place to be able to create this one. And what I'm going to use will be a Swift Blend. Be aware about your working plane and it's going to be this O1 reference plane. As you know, it goes through the middle of this wall. Then I'm going to go to the pick. So I pick the lines, you see. And then when I'm fine with it, go to the first profile. And this is the first profile, so it's a wider one. And let's make it to be, it's going to be five millimeters thick, but it's, this one is going to have a width of, let's say 200 millimeters. So it's going to look like this. And for the second profile, I'm going to use and make it five millimeters as well. So it's going to be thick five millimeters while the width is going to be 70 millimeters or let's say 60. And here it comes, so you see, uh, keep in mind that, of course, you can use a different profiles in your projects. In this one, I was using just rectangular profiles. Of course, if you have any questions or doubts, feel free to write in the comments. I will gladly reply to you and would like to thank you for watching. And if you would like to support us, just uh, subscribe to our channel and like this video.